Hello, this video will show how to assemble the Samiz AVX Automatic Air Mix Spray Gun. To begin, it is best to lay out and organize all the parts and tools needed to rebuild the AVX. You will need a gun wrench, medium blade screwdriver, vice grip, 5mm Allen wrench, and some sort of pick to assist in the assembly, along with the green and Teflon grease using a cotton swab. To begin, we will insert the O-rings onto the needle cartridge. You will want to lubricate the area and the O-rings with the Teflon grease to allow ease to get it into the O-ring lands for both the top and bottom. Next is the seat holder. There are two rings, a top and a bottom. These are Teflon O-rings. You will also want to use a little grease to help seat the O-ring into the land. Using your fingers to bring it over and seat it on both the top and the bottom. Next for the internal air piston, there are two O-rings. The larger black one, again using grease to help insert the O-ring into the land. This can be a little difficult, but you have to work it across with your thumbs and fingers to get it into the land. And once you do, you will look to put the second smaller O-ring, which is green, into the smaller land on the piston. Again, grease will help in this situation, but this is a tight O-ring, and you may want to use, being very careful not to damage the O-ring, but a pick to help lift and allow your fingers to insert the O-ring. Next is the air piston cartridge securing nut that also has a O-ring and that again a little bit of grease you're able to slip it over into the O-ring gland. Next is the air cap and nut. There are two Teflon O-rings, one at the top and one underneath the cap. First install the one going into the top groove. Again, grease will help with this. Use your fingers to insert and press down so that it's sealed at the top. Then you go ahead and put the air cap portion into the nut and make sure that it can go all the way through and seat. Then the second O-ring, which goes into the underneath land, using some grease. Now this one can be a little difficult. You have to finagle and get the O-ring to go into the groove. It may take a little bit of time but patience will help to get this into the groove using your fingers to help maneuver the O-ring down to the land. As you can see, it is difficult sometimes to get your fingers in there, but once you get it started down in there, it should be able to slide in relatively easily. Once that second O-ring is in, that will help secure the cap to the nut.
Next is inserting the needle cartridge. You'll want to put a little bit of grease on the O-rings to help with the insertion so no damage can occur. And you will go reverse of the needle from the front through to the back with the needle portion at the front. Push down with your fingers. You may use the pick or the small screwdriver to help assist inserting into the groove. Once it is in there, now you will want to insert the leak detector and leak detector seal. That is a Teflon O-ring. Put a little bit of grease on there, again to assist the O-ring in seating. You'll start the leak detector with your fingers to get it into the threads. Once it starts, you can use your flat blade screwdriver to finish tightening and have it secured. Again, this not only allows detection of fluid if the cartridge fails, but it also helps lock in that cartridge in the gun body. Now you will insert the air piston, using grease on the O-rings again to prevent damage. Slide that in and insert it. Then you will take that air piston cartridge seal, again putting some O-ring grease to prevent any damage. You could press that down with your fingers. Make sure that it seats securely. You can use a pick if need be to help with the seating. Then screw on the securing nut and once that is hand tight, you will use the vice grip to secure the cartridge and then using the gun wrench specified notch, you will tighten the nut to full secure. Next, use some grease and you will insert the seat in the seat holder and seal into the seat holder nut and screw it into the seat holder. Start with your fingers and then finish with the flat blade screwdriver to tighten and secure. Once they are secure, you may now hand tighten the seat holder into the gun body from the front. using the specified notches on the gun wrench to tighten. You will now install the springs for both the air and the fluid control into the back. You would want to put a little bit of grease in there to help lubricate the springs against the wall of the cap and then hands tighten the cap down onto the rear body.
once that's tightened, then you'd want to use a little bit of grease in the air fluid and pilot ports and install the O-rings onto the body. The grease just helps to secure the O-rings on the lands so they don't fall out. Next, you're going to take your air mix tip and you're going to insert a flat seal or the filter screen seal into the bottom of the air cap tip. And you can use the back of the cotton swab or something that's flat to assist in inserting that using a little bit of grease. Then you're going to insert the tip into the cap using the guide pins to secure it. Once that's secured, you're also going to put a little bit of grease on the threads. And you can also put some grease around the O-rings and then you're going to hand tighten the air cap and nut to the front of the gun. Once that's secured, you're going to go ahead and place the protective guard onto the air cap. And now aligning the body and the base, being sure that the O-rings are secured in the ports. And you're going to take your screws, your mounting screws, and again, the rear are smaller than the front. So the small ones go to the rear of the gun and base, and the taller ones go to the front of the gun and base. You tighten those down with the 5 millimeter Allen wrench until they're tight and secure. And now, the assembly of the AVX automatic air mix gun is complete and ready for production.